Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go. This is for the female junior flyweight world championship final. We've got three three-minute rounds of action. Now, let me welcome your fighters again. Firstly, into the blue corner, representing Sweden, Millie Eriksson. Now, ladies and gentlemen, into the red corner, representing the United Kingdom, Megan Morris. And your referee is Mr. Vikas Shum. Come, come, come. Follow the rules, listen my instruction all the time, okay? Touch gloves, go back to the corner. In the red. Nice smile on the face there of Megan Morris as they touch glove. Look, good to see her looking relaxed. Instantly you can see the reach advantage there from Millie Erickson. And she really has used that to effect throughout the championships. And when you're looking at juniors, especially as they're developing their styles, range is so important. It's not just about the techniques. It's also about understanding the range at, where, at which you're most effective and at which you take the least damage, right? Oh, definitely. And you see them going back and forth, picking their shots properly. Again, not trying to land too much power, but really figure out their opponent to implement their game plan. So this, a real tough contest between these two and a great fight to set the tone. What we've seen as well from the ladies in this contest, juniors and uh, up into the seniors division, is there's no feeling out process, is it? They just go for it from the bell. Oh, mainly with this World Finals, there's three three-minute rounds. You can't waste any second because every second is the most important really again you have to keep on pushing forward and solidify every single round and show again you are a world champion this is everything you have you have nine minutes left yeah you you've already fought four times in a row you have one more fight let's get it over and done with so one minute down in ready on this round nice straight jabs straight one two from the swede there but merely megan morris trying to work away inside that reach when you look at the corners of the two teams, you've got Robin Rouge from Sweden, and Sweden's such an experienced team, ranked number one. But across the cage, you've got Joanna Doyle from uh, Great Britain. She's a former medalist. She's been looking after the ladies here uh, alongside the rest of the team and the coaches. And that's nice, isn't it, for Megan? This is her first championship. To have somebody who's been through the process, been through a number of fights, fought on the high level, and also fought for a medal, that's, that's a nice little secret weapon to have in your locker. Oh, definitely, but we see what with Erickson, she's the more technical striker right now. She's throwing combinations, mixing it up, throwing hands, throwing head kicks, going to the legs. Again, she's just being nice and fluid and, and just being nice and smooth. Again, we see a big right hand, and her opponent goes to the counter, she just circles to the right. Oh, nice clinch as well. That tie plum clinch, so effective. But look at the smile from Megan Morris, not phased whatsoever. Oh, you have to enjoy yourself. Again, you've made it this far. Win or lose, you're known as one of the best. So just enjoy yourself. And if you don't happen to win, then so be it. But at least she's giving it her all and just having fun while doing it. So 40 seconds left in round number one. And oh, I like that a little teep to the, the, straight, uh, the front leg there, but then use that to set up the strikes from the Swede. Oh, nice outside leg kick. And again, Erickson's just being nice and smooth. She's not forcing anything. She's just throwing those shots out there and throwing them in combinations and flurries. Accuracy has been another trait we've seen throughout the tournament from Millie Erickson. Picking the shots, but making sure they hit the target as well. That's uh, another thing she's been really good at, but nice overhand right from Megan Morris from the UK. She's starting to open up a little more and a big overhand right there again. That overhand right is landing constantly, but she needs to set it up a little bit more. So round one in the books here, day one. <laughs> Sorry, the finals, I'm so excited, I've jumped back to Monday. <laughs> I wish I want to take you all the way back. I never want to leave you, Jose Torres. Did, That's did, the, uh, you, did you get hit in the head too many times <laughs> this week? I you mean, you just been commentating from what I know. Did somebody beat you up back there? <laughs> Listen, there's other commentators here, and there's, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a big competition. So I've, I've taken a few lickings in the, uh, in the, at the breakfast buffet, shall we say. Everyone's trying to be the best in the world at something. Ah, it's good. It's, what, what, what an atmosphere. And let's talk about that, the spirit of the tournament, what we've seen 
evolve through the week and grow towards this final day. It really has culminated in, in what we're looking for uh, today, which is the best of the best from all around the world fighting each other. But their fights, but the spirit behind it, there's such good feeling, goodwill, and here in the Kingdom of Bahrain, they've embraced it as a as a country and as a city as well. It's been something to behold, right? Oh, I mean, it's just the, the camaraderie I've seen from all the nations coming together this week has been amazing. It makes me really look back, and given it's only been a few years, but it makes me look back at about when I compete in the IMF and after the tournament's over, how everyone just kind of culminates together, whether you're from the UK, Finland, Sweden, Asia, you know, Africa, and it's just been an amazing time. So they're set for round number two here. They touch him up, Mega Morris in the red corner. Millie Erickson in the blue, and Mega moving forward, more aggressive now. And is that the sort of advice you'd, you'd give her? Close that range with aggression, not just uh, setting up the strikes as well. Oh, definitely. She has to be aggressive again because Erickson's just piecing her part on the outside. She is a little bit of the taller, lengthier fighter. So she's using her combinations beautifully, mainly landing that head kick. So to just get that away, Megan Morris has to push forward, make this more of a scuffling fight. If she wants to land that big overhand right, she has to throw combinations at her distance, not her opponents. Look at the combinations coming back from Millie Erickson. Even under pressure, really finding the target, loving the way she's circling as well. She's not. Oh, oh but there's a big one. right hand. That was looping all the way. <laughs> and another one coming over the top there from Megan Morris. She said, why not for that second one? Again, it's, it's the fact of she's making her opponent drive herself in. Megan's actually making this fight happen. The reason why she's laying those big overhand rights is because she's actually driving forward, putting those combinations together. And that is a, a shot that will certainly give her, will buy her confidence. And again, like the inside leg kick, setting up that straight jab as well. Now using the left, but Millie Erickson just staying composed in there. Really have been impressed throughout the tournament about how mentally prepared the Swedish team have been. Yeah, she's taking some hard shots, but still going. Nothing's changing her game plan. She's still throwing combinations, trying to be on the outside, using her length and circling after every single combination. But every time she gets caught, she just gets flat-footed. She stops circling, just like right there. She tries to throw the jab, her feet are flat. Oh, and that was a lovely straight jab there from Megan Morris. Push back the head of the, uh, the Swede. Now trying to double jab her way in. And again, now this round becomes interesting because they're now trading back and forth to become more of an even fight compared to the first one. Those long limbs of Millie Erickson being so effective throughout this tournament, but Megan Morris just walking through another overhand right, just glances. Very composed and controlled first round for Millie Erickson, but Megan Morris really is making this a fight now. And she has to. She knows she lost the first round. She cannot lose the second round. Again, it's majority. You know, two, two to one obviously wins you the fight. But what if she loses this round? Then she has to implement and impose that will just as much as possible in that third round. Really overusing that overhand right. But it, that, that makes it that much harder when you've landed so many times, but your opponent's still walking forward. There's sometimes a little trap you, you see people fall into. And this isn't just amateurs, pros as well when they get... I won't say lucky with one shot, but when they, they, they have uh, success with one shot, they sometimes go back to a little bit more. But this is nice to see from Megan Morris, trying to switch it up. Great athleticism, though, from Millie Erickson. She is the one that ends up on top. Well, she caught the knee and, and tried for that, that trip, but her leg wasn't extended. The angle was off. Her hips were off to the side instead of being right over the knee to extend her opponent's leg and force her down. But again, Erickson just staying up on her feet and I believe still winning that round. She might not have landed the more significant strikes, but she landed so many more. Very technical stuff from the Swedish team, as we'd expect from the number one ranked team in the world. And, and the facility, the infrastructure they've given their team, and that's something which, when you look at the IMF and how it's growing, you see different countries stepping into it for the first time. Success is not an accident from Sweden. They, their government supports their amateur scene. They, they fully fund all their trip, their training, the coaching, and that sort of infrastructure is what breeds success, right? Oh, and that's amazing. Again, having your government you know, funding you and backing you and supporting some of these amateurs coming up to be better professionals, it, it really is something to see. Again, I'm from the States. Our government doesn't do that yet, and we usually have to just force our ways up there, try to figure out different ways to make money to go to these tournaments and achieve what we want to achieve, which is a gold world championship. But again, Sweden, again, they, they've been on the top of the world since the beginning. And we That's see five years later what they've been able to achieve. And this is just 
one of the fighters which is really a talisman for them now, and especially that first entry into the junior ranks with Millie Erickson. Now nice. again, uh, now again, how do you score the fight? Do you score 2-0? Do you score 1-1? One, one? But overall, you have to know that Morris needs to push the pace. She needs this round no matter what. Megan Morris again going for that overhand right, looking to take out her opponent. And she has been able to finish a number of her opponents here at the IMF 2018 World Championships. And she's doing the big hendo, you know, the Henderson work. <laughs> she comes in, inside leg kick, big looping overhand right. And so far, it's been working well for her. this time oh that catches her that switches it a little bit of blood now coming from the nose of millie erickson and again that left hand connects what a chin on millie erickson oh very much so and she keeps on throwing combinations she's not flustered by these pop shots she's not flustered by the significant strikes she keeps on going keeps on following her game plan and she's winning the fight because of it now just under two minutes to go and big, big left hand big left hand megan morris switching it up and that's what she has to do, mainly with only a minute and a half left in this fight. She needs to push the pace. Her big right hand hasn't been landing flush the way she wants. It's not as much power as she expected, so she has to switch it up. Go left, go right, maybe throw combinations and land multiple shots to finish her opponent. Nice body kick from the Swedish fighter, Millie Eriksson, but Megan Morris still charging forward. And I saw her in the corner there, Joanna Doyle, Relaxing her, making her smile, and, and, and again, you've got to give credit to uh, the experience that the UK, the great British team, have brought over with Joanna Doyle, former medalist, looking after the ladies out here, and the heart of Megan Morris, and the fact that she's smiling walking into this third round, once again, just epitomizes what this tournament is about. Oh, you have to enjoy yourself. This is fun, and again, it's not personal. It's all business. At the end of the day, you tried your best, and knowing there was nothing more you could have done at that time. Yes, there's always what it should have could have, but you didn't know. You gave it your all, and that's what... As a fighter, you need to do mainly at this final stage of the competition. So now moving into the final 50 seconds of this female flyweight junior championship fight. Beautiful teams. Erickson is switching it up to the body a little bit more, which is awesome because, again, you have Megan just walking forward, trying to push through, land that big overhand right. But when you keep on going to the body, it makes her settle down more. It makes her hands come down, and it tires out your opponent. It takes away that power from that big looping overhand right. Now we're moving. Clock ticking down. 20 seconds left. Can Megan Morris push forward? Can Erickson keep her at bay? What a fight to kick off this finals day here at the Beautiful IMF 2018. Fight. Oh, toe to toe. Boom, look at Ericsson just pouring out those shots. Megan Morris, looping shots and a big embrace. They went to war, but there's the spirit once again. What a moment they've shared those, those two ladies. Nine minutes in the cage, nine minutes to claim that gold. But there's, let's use the cliche right from the first fight. There are no losers in this fight, right? Oh, definitely not. Again. This is a finals fight. What you witness there is people giving it their all, going back and forth, being very, very technical, and just moving the whole time, always action-packed and just going. Again, me as a fan, me being a veteran in this I'm a, uh, IMAF World Championship, being a two-time gold medalist, it's amazing to see what these athletes have been able to come up to. Again, if I would have competed against you know some of the people in my competition now, I more than likely wouldn't have been able to achieve what I've been able to achieve, because the just ranking the technique have improved that much. And that's a huge amount of plaudits coming from the two-time IMAF world champion. And also, talk about this as a journey from Monday now to Saturday. Five fights some of these fighters will have uh, uh, competed in across that time. Five weight cuts, all for this moment. Looks like we're going to make it official first. We're just waiting for our MC, Mr. Dave Bassnet. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and we have a split decision. Judge number one scores the contest 30 points to 27 points in favor of red. Judge number two scores the contest 30 points to 27 points in favor of blue. Judge number three scores the, con scores the contest 29 points to 28 points. And your junior 
female flyweight unified champion of the world is right corner from the United Kingdom, Megan Murray. And look at that, we kick off the day with Great Britain taking the gold there in what was a really close fight. And you mentioned it in the commentary about how that fight would be scored. And it looks like they went in favor of the aggression, the big, heavy, significant strikes over the technical strikes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your gold medalist and IMF World Junior Champion, Megan Morris. Megan, how does that sound? Oh, fucking awesome. Oh, sorry, really good. Oh, my God. Now, Megan, what a war. Split decision, taller opponent. You had to fight all the way for that. Absolutely. Jesus Christ, you've got long arms. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I wasn't ready for this. Now, obviously, an incredible corner. What was it like having Joanne Doyle with such experience there for you? It was amazing. I don't think I could have done this without her. She's been so positive and supportive all week. For, for, for the last few weeks, come up to this. It's been amazing, honestly. I love you, Jill. <laughs> Now, you're weak overall. How do you feel that went to get to this huge final? It went perfect, honestly. I had the best team, the best corner. It's been so positive. It's been the best week of my life. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your gold medalist and IMAF Junior World Champion, Megan Morris. Megan, Megan Morris. Listen to those words. IMAF Junior, flyweight gold medalist. Gives you tingles. You must be reliving those emotions right now. And it really is an awesome, uh, you know, awesome moment that you're never, ever going to forget. And again, she went out there. She probably lost the first round and knew that she had to push the 